So here is one of the most interesting theories that I've ever heard. Could the Dark Crystal, along with other 80s fantasy properties like The Labyrinth and even The NeverEnding Story, all be part of the same universe? Maybe the Star Wars universe? Fantastical I know, but let's take a quick deep dive into the details. As all of us know, The Dark Crystal, The Labyrinth, NeverEnding Story, and Star Wars all share very similar features and qualities. Not only were they created in the same time period and most by the same kind of minds, but they also look, feel, and resemble each other in many different ways. From their use of high fantasy, the story of the hero's journey, similar art styles, all the way down to the use of realistic Muppets. And aside from this on a larger scale, we have to remember the vastness of their universal ideas. The Star Wars universe, for instance, doesn't take place in a single solar system, but an entire galaxy. A galaxy in which I'm sure there are many more places yet undiscovered. Could these other worlds be there too? And when it comes to the never-ending story, we have to remember that Fantasia is boundless. It contains every land, creature, and place ever imagined, even if they are not aware of it. So that means that universes, or even dimensions or places, like the Dark Crystal universe or the Labyrinth universe, could technically be a part of it all. After all, Jim Henson and George Lucas were not only good friends, but like-minded creators as well with George even commandeering many of the puppeteers from the Dark Crystal to work on Return of the Jedi, just like Mike Quinn, who famously played Neen Num in Return of the Jedi. So it's not such a wild notion that Jim and George may have eventually worked to bring these two worlds together, revealing that Thra was just another planet in the Star Wars universe. Aside from this, we see many similarities with the characters and aspects of each world. Agra and the Goblin King appear to be force users who have a deep connection to magics and live extremely long lives. We have stories centered around crystals such as Kyber Crystals, the Dark Crystal, and even the Ivory Tower itself appears to be made out of a giant crystal that's the center of the world. We have the prophecy of a chosen one, Jen, Anakin, Atreyu, and of course the hero's journey among many other notions and attributes I'm sure that you all have noticed. George Lucas has always said that Star Wars is like poetry. Each one rhymes with the next in some way, and even though they are completely separate from each other, all of these stories certainly seem to rhyme with each other very well. So is it possible that each of these places is simply just another undiscovered location in the vast Star Wars universe? What do you think? I want to hear from all of you guys now. Leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the Great White Void. I want to hear all of your theories. I mean, how cool would it be to see a giant multiverse with all of our favorite fantasy stories? Go ahead and tell me your thoughts. And until next time, take care. For Thra, for Jim, and I'll see you on the next video.